I solved this equation dp over dt is 0.5p minus 500. So first, just multiply both sides by dt. It's kind of like as if you were doing this, which is allowed, and basically like this cancels with this, you see? So that's going to give us that dp is equal to 0.5p minus 500, and then dt. Now we would like to simplify this expression a little bit. So what you can do is you can write dp is equal to, pull out 0.5 out, so 0.5 and then p minus now when you factor a half out of 500 it's as if you were doing like for example 500 over 0.5 you see that kind of situation because if you brought this back in it would cancel with the 0.5 in the bottom so you have dp is equal to 0.5 and then this is p and now half a half goes into 500 a thousand times so it's a thousand like this and then dt now take only this part here and then move it and place it under the dp so when you do that it's going to be dp over the p minus the 1000 is equal to 0.5 dt. Now I just anti differentiate both sides like this. So you're going to have, but here you can use ln of p minus 1000 and this is equal to 0.5 t plus c. So this is a constant here. So it gives a t and you attach the constant c at the end also. Now you can just exponentiate both sides this way. When you do that, like this will cancel with this. So that means we have p minus 1,000 is equal to plus or minus at first, that is, and then e raised to that 0.5t, and then this is a constant, so there's a basic rule that you can apply, like if you have e to the a plus b, it's e to the a times e to the b, so you can use that here, so it's going to be e to the c, so break this into two separate pieces, then you're going to have p, now, when I did the plus or minus here, what that allows you to do is you can drop these absolute value bars. You don't need them anymore. So you have P minus 1,000 equaling plus or minus, and then this is E to the C, and then E to the point 0.5T. Lastly, just add 1,000, so of course uh, this will cancel, right? And then you're going to have plus 1,000 on this side. So P is equal to... Now, again, there's a lot of constants, but... Like here, that's a new constant. So you can call it some other letter, like, I don't know, call it A, for example, and set A equal to this plus or minus E to the C. So you're going to have A, E to the point 0.5T plus 1,000, where A is this quantity. Now, the way you would do this from here is you apply some initial condition, whatever it happens to be. So if you invent one, let's see. Imagine that when T is 0, then we want uh, p to have some specific value. So say 2,000, like that, okay, 2,000. So it's the point t equals 0, p equals 2,000. Plug it in here, so 2,000 for p, a, and then e to the now. 0. 0.5 times 0 plus the 1,000. So this is your t right here, right? This is t, and this is the value of a, that we've been, or p rather, that we've been given. And now it's going to be 2,000 is equal to A. This here is 1 because it's 0 0.5 times 0, which is 0. E to the 0 is 1. So it's just A, in other words, plus the 1,000. Subtract 1,000. So that's the value of A. In other words, in this case, the equation would be specifically uh, P is equal to 1,000. And then E raised to that 0.5 T plus 1,000. Please leave a like.